Subscribe to Alfred Plus for exclusive content at plus.alfred.vip. Hello, everybody. I'm Alfred. You are listening to One America, the broadcast series formerly known as Black America. Today's broadcast series topic is basically the Cleopatra was black cultural appropriation. You know, let's open our Bibles to the book of Proverbs chapter 22 verse 28. I'm reading from the Amplified Classic Version. I read, Remove not the ancient landmark which your fathers have set up. You know, it's very important that you understand the importance of not changing history and not changing ancient landmarks since that have been established that this belongs to this, this belongs to that. Now we are living in an age where, you know, African Americans and, you know, the people who love to call themselves black in in Europe, across Europe and the Western world, you know, they feel they have to basically, you know, protest their way into everything and they feel offended by everything. You know, that doesn't shed them in, that does not put them in number one place. And, you know, any sign of anything that is good about any other race, specifically the white, you know, race, anyone whose skin is light, you know, that's um, primarily, you know, Americans, those from Europe and all that, they, they hate them. You know, and we can see that too with the changing of characters you know we see that with hollywood changing the race of characters it has now been called black washing you know changing them from light skin you know white european looking to african dark skin looking it is sad now we have seen that same nonsense going to the realm of cleopatra now the school of thought that Cleopatra was dark-skinned is not new among the sorts of people. You know, the a lot of the Hebrew Israelites in America and people of that sort believe such things and have been pushing such nonsense. You know, but these people don't realize the damage that they are trying to create. You know, they are trying to take everybody's culture. You know, they want to race swap um leaders you know from europe they want to reswap their kings in the in the movies and in and in even in the stories you know they want to do all this but even them are not intelligent enough to see what is behind it um that they are being used to bring forth a new agenda they are being used to bring forth the new world order because it's all about using every group like feminism has been taken over you know the lgbt is you know, it was always wrong from the start, but it is now just basically the new world order. You know, African Americans have given away their identity to the globalists. So they decide what an African American is. They have now merged it with gay and LGBT, you know, and leftist causes and policies. Like who would have thought that we would see a day where Afri- so called African American pro black people, you know, the people love to use the word black, you know, they'll be fighting against Ron DeSantis taking away books of sexually explicit nature from schools. These people are, the, the people who are African-American that are fighting against it, like the Charlemagne, you know, and, and the rest of them, they know, you know, that these books contain this um, basically pedophilia, but they allow it. You can see the Western schools where all they are, a lot of what they are teaching is pedophilia, you know, all, all the teachers, you know, they want to come out in front of um, kindergarten and, and children. They want to tell children that they are gay and they want to encourage them, oh, that your problems are going to be solved if you believe you are a different gender. You know, we have all these people believing they are a different gender. And these are the people that want to be the leaders of the world. Africa should not allow Western education because now Western education has been super corrupted. So Western education must be stopped because Western education has gone woke. Therefore, Western woke, this woke Western education, you know, has to be destroyed. It cannot be allowed to dominate Africa or other nations or, you know, um, go into the 
other um, parts of the world and continents. It should not be allowed, you know. Otherwise, we'll all suffer, you know. So going back to the topic, you know, of the Cleopatra thing, the debate isn't really about um, whether um, Cleopatra was dark skinned or not. Clearly, she was light skinned because every all the historical people, you know, it, it is just it can't be just now all of a sudden we are changing the skin color and people want to claim that the white man you know is the one that changed cleopatra's skin color what nonsense if if he wanted if the white man had the power to change cleopatra's skin color why didn't he change the skin color of all the other african kings you know why didn't he change the king's skin color of greater african kings greater african you know leaders because keep in mind cleopatra was not that great compared to others. When it comes to, if we are judging greatness by conquering, what did she conquer? There are a lot of other African kings, even Amina of Mina, you know, there are, there are many pe other people that, that did a lot of conquering. If we are looking at conquering as a way to run greatness, there are many others. So she's not even that great. She, she just, she has fame. But when it comes to, um, greatness and achievement she she's she doesn't rank in the top 10 among her contemporaries and we shouldn't even exalt people that are conquerors it's funny how um african americans like to lambast and this um white conquerors they like to this oh they are colonists oh they are colonizers but now you meet um somebody that you allege or you somebody that you believe has your skin color now you want to say that their conquering is great you want to say that their colonialism is great. A lot of the, the kings of times past in Africa, they did what other kings were doing, which is raiding other, raiding other kings and kingdoms, killing their people, you know, raping the women, you know, and, um, you know, they will steal the gold, the treasures, and they will take their land also. That is what a lot of kings were doing. A lot of them. So why are you now going to, to say that that is greatness? And that is how, you know, there was no stock market and all of that. So that was like the way to increase, the sure way to really expand your wealth was to take what another person had. You know, you could plant, you could grow, but that was limited to, you know, if um, your crop will yield fruit and all of that. And, you know, they believed in all kinds of gods and they would pray to different gods and say, ah, let us get a harvest and all of that, you know, and they would do all kinds of rituals, full moon festival, harvest festival, all those kinds of things, different rituals, hoping that, you know, things will grow. Because sometimes, in spite of all they have planted, you know, the harvest will not be that bountiful. So, you know, agricultural knowledge then is not like what it is now. You know, so you have to keep that in context. But the show, one sure way of expanding a kingdom or an empire was to conquer others. That's how Rome became so-called great. So are we now praising that when it comes to Africans you know, or people who uh, are doing who are doing it, Africans doing it to Africans on the continent of Africa? It now becomes oh greatness. Like even Ani Amina of Mina, you know, she was conquering that um um Igbo, you know, and um you know um my ancestors, you know um. Um, traditionally, you know, we're from the the low, what is currently, you know, the south, you know, towards the um, south, um, close to the east of, um, you know, um, I, I, I should, I was to, to be more specific, let's, I would say the Imo, the area known as Imo states, you know, that side, you know, that's specifically where, you know, my tribe is, but of course, it, it expanded far beyond that, but I mean, now of me now was coming down towards my tribe. So realistically, if the white man did not come, we would have had to clash. She would keep in mind that she was conquering a lot of people. So there are a lot of people who are like saying, ah, who today are like, oh, I'm Fulani or I'm um, Hausa and all of that. And they are proud of what they are. But they don't realize that they were conquered people. In other words, the Hausa that you are now, the Hausa came and conquered you. You were something else before that. And they, they conquered and they colonized in the proper way. The, the, the real, the, there are two ways of colonization, you know. I, I should say, um, let me go to um, what people did before colonization. 
you know how how people conquered and the way they 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 conquered in a way that they will wipe out the previous civilization so if there are any remnants of the of of people from the previous civilization they have to integrate into the new civilization not speak of the old one they'd have to take on the citizenship and the nationality and the belief system and everything of the new people who conquered them so that's how a lot of civilizations were actually dissolved into other civilizations that conquered them that is a fact you know people don't realize you know then of course there's the other style of colonization which um which is the main one that we are all used to or we are all familiar with in this day and age, which is what the British did, which they will leave your culture intact, but they will work out a deal with the leader, you know, and then they will manipulate your culture, but a lot of it is still around. But the previous one, they wipe it out completely. There's no trace of the previous culture. It just takes over everything. You know, you forget the name, you know, the, the previous name you called yourself, your identity, all of that has gone. You know everything has gone which you know also explains why you know when um europe you know colonized um so many african nations they changed the names and therefore the, you know it's a way of also changing and controlling you know changing the identities of the people and all of that so you have to think about that but you know the the move towards this um cleopatra is back um cleopatra you know and all of this you know it's, it's showing, it, it's it's about the hatred. It is not even about Cleopatra herself, you know. It is not even about the skin color of Cleopatra. It is about this movement of oh, making every um, leader, every figure in history, you know, making everything, you know, changing their skin color to be dark. And it's a matter of, um, it's also an expression of inferiority that a lot of African Americans feel that are pushing this because they feel that for them to be somebody, Superman has to be their skin color. For them to be somebody, Spider-Man has to have their skin color. You know, why is it that important? You know, why is your value based on that? You know, you want Cleopatra, you want um, the Queens of England. You know, you want everybody to have your skin color. And of course, on the part of the globalists to those who are pushing the new world order what they actually are doing is that they want to eliminate the race that they believe is the strongest and and put in place the race that they believe is a liability and will weaken the nations that is why they are opening borders you know that they open the borders of europe they open the borders of of america there are a lot of people in america who think that the reason for the opening of the borders is so that Democrats will have people who vote Democrat. That is not the point. You know, they can do a good job at that just by internal propaganda, you know, and keep vilifying Republicans. And keep in mind that outside of Trump, Republicans are just Democrats, but, you know, just a few steps behind when it comes to the Republican Party, not the Republican voters themselves. You know, when you look at the actions of the Republican Party outside of Trump, they do the same thing that Democrats do. They push for the same policies. You know, but they're they're a bit behind. Like the Democrats will embrace LGBT before Republic the Democrat Party will embrace LGBT before the um Democrat Party will. Bef so I mean before the Republican Party will. Or the um Democrat Party will embrace one kind of social um, so called social justice or um reparations program of you know distributing wealth and making everybody dependent on the government the, the democrats will embrace it before the republicans um, party would embrace it so the republican party outside of trump was just basically lagging behind and make creating the illusion of their two separate parties like all the diverse ideologies that exist in america can only be expressed in two different political parties but the reality is that those two political parties are just controlled by the same people, by the same group. However, Trump came in with something else, and that is why he's condemned the way he is, and he's, they have identified it and grouped it as MAGA Republicans. You know, but you know that is the only unique thing, and that is the only um, hope for America. But that is a different topic. But you know, that being said, it is this inferiority that is pushing. And it's not helpful because if you are inferior, if you are, if you have an inferiority complex uh, matter like this, and you keep pushing, 
it doesn't help to solve the impre um, inferiority complex issue of you know oh let us make this person dark skin oh shakespeare will dark skin or oh shakespeare actually learned from an african you know somewhere in africa you know creating all this there are all kinds of conspiracy theories that just basically um the goal is to take away every invention or every um achievement of light skin or light skin people you know people of your descent you know take it away and say that oh it is um somebody whose skin is dark who achieved it and all of that which is crazy you know so um to complete a thought before I jump back to this, because I I um, I jumbled about with thoughts, you know, when I thought say that the the globalists why they are pushing for the opening of borders is because they see Africans and you know um, all this um, illegal migrants they see them as being so dumb and so useless that they will destroy the economy and they, and they will. F they will actually call the nation to f to fall. That is why those back doors are allowing criminals. It's difficult to enter America legally. You have to get papers. You have to. They have to know who you are. You have to not have a criminal record. So many things need to be looked into. But if you go through the back door, you can just go in. People are coming out of people who are being released from prison are going into America through the open border you know the mexico us you know illegal border and the left is painting it as anybody who wants that border war close is against you know it's a racist oh they are xenophobic you know we never heard the word xenophobic until now you know uh, it's now that you know all all the phobics you know they use all kinds of words but it's all to demonize people and that is a strategy and they are using the same strategy oh so you are against this policy oh they come up with a phobic Oh, homophobic, transphobic, dysphobic, dasphobic. You know, they come up with one thing, but it's all to demonize people. And that is the left strategy. And they are the ones who are complaining about the right, you know, trying to divide the country. But that is all that the left does. The left has are the most despisive people in America. But all of that being said, you know, this issue with um, Cleopatra, it's all a matter of you know poor self-esteem and if you have poor self-esteem you know let me let me read something to you in the book of jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 i'm reading from the amplified classic version i read for i know the thoughts and plans that i have for you says the lord thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil to give you hope in your final outcome you know now I know it says the word welfare, but, you know, it's in this version, you know, it actually says, you know, thoughts of good, you know, you know, not um, welfare, you know, as in welfare, as in welfare program. But, you know, God's plans and thoughts for you are thoughts for good, you know, thoughts of peace, not for evil, to give you hope. In your final outcome you know so you have to study the word meditate on the word and it to give you value you know you begin to see your value if god values you what does what what else you know do you need you know or what does it matter what man thinks you know you begin to have a self and, and and you begin to look to the future you know you think about what you can create yes other um, races and other people have done different things you know true history now think about doing something good rather than trying to claim Cleopatra who did evil things what thing did she do that was helpful that was good that she is known for you know a lot of all these things so what good things did they do and what good things did they do that that were able to last till today but there are people who have done things that lasted till today you know so let us look to the future and you think about what are you going to add you know it's about looking forward you know and you know having value in yourself you know god's pl god loves you god's plans for you are of good and not not of evil think about how you can build and do something good not trying to claim um that somebody else that actually did evil things you know has the same skin color as you so that you can value yourself or even the the things that the left and the woke crowd pushes making african americans feel that they have no value unless 
they have representation or, or so called unless you know the the gender the race swap everybody you know that their value is in superman skin being dark their values in spider-man skin being black you, you know dark and all of that you know all of this is foolishness and all of that just helps to contribute to casting you down and decreasing your um self-worth and self-esteem you know so all of that has to end that being said make sure you check out alfred or the ip for more thank you for joining me with this and listening to this have a nice day Say this prayer or the belief you have not given your heart to Jesus Christ. Dear God, I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came, died, and was raised from the dead to save me. I confess Him, Lord, over my life and ask you to give me your Holy Spirit to live within me. I receive your Spirit by faith and thank you for I am now born again. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you just prayed that prayer, congratulations. You are now a Christian. Go to alfred.vip and click the salvation prayer link in the main menu to get resources that will help you with your work with God. God bless you.